so hello friends welcome to the part 25 if you have not yet joined and become a cloud kernel please do that you have two memberships cloud kernel and cloud ninja which will help you gain access to lot more certification contents additional questions if you have not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button this will help you stay tuned to the cloud certification contents and the latest happening around the cloud world majorly aws gcp and azure cloud now if you are wondering where did part 24 go so part 24 is only available in the members only group so click the join button become the member and you can gain access let's jump into the questions see there is an entertainment company what do they do they do entertainment entertainment something like tiktok maybe and they are using DynamoDB to store their media metadata. Mind you, mind you, they are not storing the media files. They are storing metadata in DynamoDB. So there are a lot of reads that happen. The company is operating with minimum stuff because uh, you see TikTok India has been shut down. So the company is operating in TikTok China with very small stuff. So they don't want operational overhead. They want to improve performance of this DynamoDB without reconfiguring the application. What should you do? If I just whiz through the options, that means this is a caching solution. Okay. They are looking for caching solution. If it was a different database like RDS, I would have chosen Elastic Cache. What is Elastic Cache? So it is a caching facility, microsecond latency it gives, and it is an in memory caching. It reduces operational overhead and it has two versions Redis and Memcast. Hey, but do you know whenever you think about cache in the DynamoDB world, always think of DAX. DynamoDB has some extra thing available which is called DynamoDB DAX. Okay, so it delivers 10 times performance that means from milliseconds to microseconds so fast, man, so fast. So it does all the heavy lifting for in-memory acceleration. So this is the answer. So now what you do is you strike this off and Elastic Cache for Memcache. Okay. Elastic Cache we are not using because we already have something available on the same line with DynamoDB. And C is saying you replicate the data into global tables. So when you want a caching solution, Global tables will not help. What does global table do? These tables build on DynamoDB footprint to provide fully managed multi-region. So if you want multi-region database access, global applications if you have, then you use this. Does the question say that they are looking to go worldwide and become a global application? No. Then why will we use option C? So this would be my final answer final answer see there is an application and it runs on ec2 instances in private subnet now this application needs access to DynamoDB. so you have this application this is ec2 and you have DynamoDB here database what is the most secure way so this guy is in a private it is in a private subnet so they are asking what is the most secure way to access the table while ensuring the traffic does not leave AWS. So the first option is saying uh, use VPC endpoint for the DynamoDB. So this would be my answer. So VPC endpoint, it allows you to privately connect your VPC to supported AWS services like DynamoDB and so on. It does not require you to deploy internet gateway. See, we are supposed to not leave the AWS network. That is why VPC endpoint is useful. So this would be my answer. NAT gateway, there is a different purpose. So if you want instances in private subnet to connect to services outside your VPC, then you use NAT gateway. In this question, we don't want to connect anything outside the VPC. So B is wrong. C talks about NAT instance. See, this is where NAT instance is used 
you have these people outside in the internet you have internet gateway in between and you want to protect uh, the things in the private subnet this one here then all traffic gets routed to the NAT instance so that people cannot access EC2 in this private subnet directly they will always have to go through NAT instance so C will not work here because we are not supposed to leave the AWS network and internet gateway is used to help you connect to the internet okay, and this is the documentation which shows this so I will choose this to be my answer so this is the next question see there is a order processing application okay and it is making use of API gateway where API gateway helps you manage APIs at scale if you have microservice based architecture applications lot of small small APIs you can manage it at scale using API gateway plus the question is making use of lambda function so it is a serverless architecture you can create logic and functions which you would execute without worrying about servers like in EC2 instance you have to install choose an operating system here you don't have to worry about where this will run and etc so this looks great now what is the problem so this application is storing the data in PostgreSQL uh, which is fine it is a fully managed uh, PostgreSQL compatible asset compliant relational database engine it is reliable easily manageable and has speed of execution and it is cost effective also now suddenly what happens a lot of customers comes in so customers are experiencing timeout issues and the orders are not processed now they are seeing that CPU utilization on the database is high memory utilization is high why it is high because of a large number of open connections now you want to prevent timeout problems timeout errors with least possible changes to the application that means no code change okay so what will you do a says you will configure provision concurrency for lambda function and modify the database to be a global database Bapre. so see if you try to make the database global then there would be some downtime so provision concurrency see concurrency are of two types reserve concurrency and provision concurrency provision concurrency it says it keeps uh, some number of execution environments ready the moment you have demands they will use that environment the problem is we don't know we don't know like how many environments would be required like by what margin it, it is uh, surging you see this there is a surge but we don't know by what margin plus converting the database will require a downtime and it is uh, so many steps it is not least possible changes now this B looks correct because it is talking about you know you will use RDS proxy to create a proxy for the database see what is RDS proxy it is a fully managed highly available easy to use database proxy feature of RDS what does it do for you it improves scalability by pooling and sharing database connection so you you see our problem is there are so large number large number of open database connections okay so if you use proxy it will not open large number of database connections it will share you see it will share it will share it will share the database connections plus there are other advantages like improving availability and so on okay but we got our answer we will use this we will modify the lambda function to use proxy endpoint and this will work this is with least possible changes least possible changes now C is telling that boss I will create a read replica in a different AWS region okay who will pay man your father will pay for difference different AWS region why are we creating such options which are expensive then they will use query strings in API gateway to route traffic to the read replica okay but see you you are a order processing application who this question is not talking about how will the read replica get synced up was how will the read replica get synced up how will the latest data come there that they are not talking about okay read replica is a solution 
to create reports out of it okay it will it is used it is used to isolate read operations from write operations then d is talking about you they are saying you migrate from postgres to dynamo db see such a foolish option right such a foolish option postgres is sql based relational database you will move it to a no sql so is this least possible change no this is massive change you, you, from a sql to uh, no sql database movement massive change they will use dms who will pay for it your father will pay for it no boss dms is expensive who will pay for it plus 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 this is not least possible change nobody this aws this option is not great cause it is not great nobody's father is going to pay for this expensive solution none of the clients will pay for it none of the clients will pay for such expensive solution so when i say who will pay for it will your father don't get offended i'm talking about will the client pay for it in this case uh, we are all talking about client client would not go for such expensive options so this is my answer this is my answer if you have not subscribed yet to this channel please subscribe this will help you stay tuned to the latest certification content around aws azure and gcp cloud this is your opportunity to become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member this will give you unlimited access to a lot more certification content which is not available for free a lot of them but like i say since i am a generous person i still keep posting some questions for the subscribers and then there are some questions for the members stay tuned we will see you in the next part